Well, the Balkan is a powder keg. Once more, well that isn't really surprising considering the first world war started off after the Balkan just exploded. Let's just go ahead and well let's just take a look at the powder keg, let's just... Well, is there a better nation to play than the smallest nation, the Kingdom of Montenegro? Perhaps there's not. Then let's go ahead on Ironman mode. Well, focus this and let's just get going and have a nice powering bombing experience in the Balkans. Our very first move shall be to get some industry into Montenegro. Some civilian won't probably and after that we might look perhaps for a new path. Maybe a rival government. Let's see what the Montenegro people desire that they shall get. Well, just look to that. When I thought we can build up our army, actually Serbia requests Montenegro. Well, what should we say to that? We can just say that we have a fight for our land. I mean, industrialized, we are stronger than the Serbs are. So we should win this war, but the army is stronger than ours. So we'll have some problems, but we'll fight and let's see how it develops. If the Serbs will actually strike or not. Well, I thought we'll be done, we will be one who will explode the Balkan powder keg, but apparently we won't. And look to that, Serbia declares war on us. Now they have, they have more troops than we do facing us, so how are we supposed to win this war? That's a huge us problem, especially since our fort wasn't actually built there. But well, let's fight until the last drop. Of Montenegrin blood, surely. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really proud to say that you're actually winning this war. We established level 1 cheap forts on this line, and I mean, we just stacked our troops there, and the Serbians are not able to break through. The Serbians lost 71,000 men, while we just lost 2,000, so the Serbs are just. You know, the AI, they aren't so smart, so you know what, that's our chance. Let's go, just. Execute, force attack, and see how far we come. I mean, it is not a war we actually wanted, is it? But, I mean, the Serbs enforced this trouble on us. Therefore, it will just seem appropriate if we enhance uh, our momentum behind the Serbia. We could break through, but then we would always stretch our lights. So, yeah, the war is going quite nice, and let's see how it actually develops. Of course, it's just simply amazing. And I am proud to announce that the Montenegrin army managed to capture Belgrade. Belgrade. Well, the Serbs are just soon gonna surrender. We're just gonna seal off the area. The Bosnians can't take it. And here we go. The Serbians are defeated. Well, that was really, really easy. What uh, we'll do is we'll, well, guess what? We'll actually annex all Serbia. There we go. Well, now it's called Montenegro, but... Well, uh, I mean, it can be that easy if things suddenly play into your hand, which they did, certainly. And just look at the Kingdom of Montenegro. We can actually... We can, mm, well, not form the Tsardom of Serbia yet. But well, <laughs> let's... Quite well, I this wasn't really expected, was it? At least, not really. <laughs> and one more day, and we demand Albania. Oh my god, tells me that since they are under Italian protection, that they're gonna most likely decline. Well, that isn't a big loss. Yeah, well, I mean, I can get the Conga focus, but I'm not gonna use it. Well, we are still more aligned, so let's see when we can actually become fascists. And then we'll expand further into the Balkan powder keg, as little Montenegro. Well, thankfully to the new events and decisions, we can actually hold the referendum. I just held it right now for some political power, and now if the people want it, we'll hold it. And the Zelnaji party is ruling now. We are called independent Montenegro, but I think we are more than that. We could actually uh, form into greater Serbia as well, but why do that? We'll rather stay Montenegro, shall we? We can finish the coloring and then 
That's it. So now, next things next uh, is the Islamic State of Bosnia. Well, that that this takes some time. All right, later. Oops. Wait. Uh, well, where? Okay, right here. Here is just something better than forming an Orthodox Brotherhood with Romania and Greece. The question now is, will they accept? If we are lucky, yeah. But most likely they won't, because, you know, luck isn't really our name. We will respect that decision, let's teach them a lesson in polygon diplomacy. <laughs> let's see, yeah, teach them a lesson, perhaps, and we won't declare war, but at least we got the Greeks on our side. The Romanians, that's fine. Just having, I mean, a declaration of wars against everyone is kind of a good thing. Well, next thing will be the declaration of war against Bosnia. They have more divisions, but I'm sure that we are just gonna crush them. Let's just deploy our army, give it some time, and after a bit, we'll go and crush them. Well, while we are preparing, I forgot to show you all, but actually, uh, Japan is embroiled in a civil war. The Japanese People's Republic is fighting Imperial Japan. I have no bloody idea how it happens, but well, Japan is it's a problem to them. Well, I think the communists will lose if you compare their strength with the Imperial strength. Well, you will never know. But well, that's more than interesting how this happens. Then let's prepare more of them. Well, we lost the war god, but just look to that, they are guaranteeing our... They are guaranteeing our independence, I mean, what do they think they are? Please, let's brain out. Well, we got so many events, by the way, I thought a bit, and it's maybe a bad idea to declare war against Bosnia. But what's more important is, it just went away, that Japan is embroiled in a civil war. The Japanese People's Republic declared independence from Japan, I mean, the rest of parents in their own nation. Military advice, they are weaker than the imperialists, but the question is, if they capture Tokyo, the tide may turn. So, well, I don't know, I think the colonists may lose if you see the strength, but they may call... They may call the imperialists of God, they may get them of God, but that's... Well, I'm excited, I'm excited, let's see. Well, 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 we got our sweet war goal, but to say the least, the Croatians aren't really looking ready with their 7-11 divisions. I mean, I think they just didn't want to create them, or they... yeah, I mean, that would most likely be good by Croatia, let's call our allies. Although we don't need them. Declare war, we declared war, let's just advance quickly into Croatia, use here force attack on all of our armies. Then let's see how fast we capture them. We can use our air force to get privacy in the Western Balkans. Although we can even invite... We can invite Bosnia to our faction. And well, do we want to invite Bosnia? I mean, can we kick them eventually out? Yeah, let's... Should we invite them? Perhaps? I'm not sure really. Let's... I... Wouldn't have thought that. Okay, Bosnia, let's invite you. I mean, we can kick them out, so let's just invite them to faction. There we go. Easy peasy. We could call them in against this war, but no, let's not do that. Let's rather just march to Zagreb with our army here. Yeah? The Croatian army is completely, uh, well, not existent. A dark day for Croatia and Croat, suddenly. And what do we have to capture? Some more provinces. Just marching inside the territory. I don't, I don't even know why Bosnian troops are there. They shouldn't be there normally. Just come on. I think after the capture of that province, it's just manual advancement right now. I even don't know what they are doing there. The Croats. Aren't, don't they think of maybe capitulating Croatia? Isn't that in your interest? Well, let's, let's see. There we go. Two and then two splits. Well, I don't think we really need them to surrender, you're gonna... There we go. Treat of splits, it will result in their complete annexation of Croatia. And Croatia is no more, Bosnia is completely encircled by us. Uh, we maybe should have invited them, but well, we can use them and then 
or perhaps get rid of them later. <laughs> well, no, it's just bother gore, but that's all right. Plus, you know, you just stay there, peaceful. <laughs> Well, we'll just take a look to the recent developments. Actually, Slovenia is being guaranteed by the French and the British, but that should not hold me from attacking them, nevertheless. I just see they are quite well fortified. Well, that may change things, actually. Well, that's okay. Anyways, we can invite Turkey to our faction. Well, alright, Turkey. Uh, I'd like to accept that is pressure, although I'm not really pressuring them. I mean, Turkey, welcome, Oshgeldion. And the next one will be Albania. Well, Albania, we got a declaration of war against them. They got fascist influence. I think they will pick a call and fight into our faction. There we go. Now the Orthodox, well, it's called Orthodox Brotherhood. I'm not really sure if Turkey is Orthodox. But I mean, Turkey, you're welcome. I'm also inviting Bulgaria. It's just a question of time if actually see if they're willing to join as well. I don't think that they will most likely, but well, let's, let's see, let's just actually wait that and see if Bulgaria joins or not in two more days. And Bulgaria did not accept. Uh, well, oh, they actually, actually accepted, nice, welcome Bulgaria, it's, it's awesome. Well, at last the time has come for the Romanians, not the not Romanians, for the, um, wait, is not the sign, for the Slovenians. Call the Alliance declare war. There we go. Now the well little Balkan powder keg actually ex starts to explode right now. Let's see, can we actually be successful in pushing them? We're gonna see. Lakia join the Allies. What I can invite Italy to my very faction. Alright, Italy, we are welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? The Orthodox brother, though I can invite one more, I can actually invite Romania as well. Hello Romania, you're welcome as well. Alright, alright. Italy joined the war, Romania called to arms, joined the war. Well, I think this escalated kinda quickly. The Turkish army is gonna probably wreck the French one, especially after the Germans go ahead and attack Poland. Oh, actually, actually, I can invite Poland as well. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> Alright, all just, just just go ahead in that point, you know, just because why not? There we go. Like, well, it's Hungary. Come on, Hungary, you're the only one missing. <laughs> well, that's quite funny. Damn. <laughs> well, alright. I that, that escalated really, really quickly. But I don't think inviting Paul was a good idea. Well, we will find out. We'll find out. Let's see. Well, we got kind of a huge problem here, and that is actually that Bosnia left our faction, they joined the Islamic League, and they are setting up invitations. Well, we won't let them destroy our faction, therefore I'm sorry Bosnia, but it's really your downfall. Oh, I don't even have the justification of war. Well, you just have to wait for 10 days. And after that, I just really hope it's not too late. Alright, we got the justification of conquering, and I think it's time to conquer Bosnia there. And they will be a problem for us, that's for sure, but we'll have to attack aggressively. We may overwhelm them. Hello? Uh. Okay, there we are now. Uh, it's looking alright. Come on, I want to deploy these troops, then things will get way better. There we go, we deploy 20 troops there. A new army with 20 divisions, let them get spread out and then they'll attack all across Bosnia as well. Let's see, if Marshal will lead them. The fall of Sarajevo, there we go. It's going quite swift. We just have to do it before they send all the invitations. Which, oh, we don't have so much time left. Come on, come on. Yeah, I can uh, call in my allies, just you can join the war, I don't mind. There we go, unification war, come on. And there we go, we captured this province, we'll have to capture Vlaska, oh he's wounded, not really good. At least we can concentrate our efforts there, and Bosnia has capitulated, and the PCD should pop up right now, there we go. Well, well that was easy, it was easy, yeah. And Bosnia, there we go, with their many factories, is a part now of, of the independent, of independent Montenegro. 
Well, I think actually that we can call this game right here a GG well played right now. I mean, considering we managed to reunify Yugoslavia under Montenegro in the world, you see, every Yugoslavian nation except some minor provinces of East Korea and that one, but that's not a problem, are not under our control, the rest is. And now we are a bloody strong nation with 86 factories, actually stronger than the Italians, yep. And the band of Montenegro is stronger than Italy is, believe it or not. We are rivaling, well not Germany, but actually, oh, no no, not really, we can't rival them. We've become fascists, we got tons of trades. Then we have a huge factory of ours, told you, a huge army of 605,000, it's quite good for our, for our nation, for our strength. Well, considerably, we managed to, just from this tiny province, to become a global power, leading the Orthodox, the so-called Orthodox Brotherhoods, with Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, Greece, Turkey, and Italy in our faction. And then the Turks are already battling the French, they are being quite successful, so our, our total strength is 3 million. I would say that's a GG well played here, please let me know what you think of this quick episode of well, the Balkan powder keg. That was really a powder keg, uh, rather a surprise keg. Then thank you for watching me, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time, goodbye and have a nice day please.